In today's 12 Days of Christmas activity, we are going to use Keynote to create a snow globe video. First of all, you're going to pause the screen on the QR code in the next sequence so that you can use your camera app to scan the QR code so that you can open up the OneDrive folder to download a snowing scene. You will need to make sure that you have OneDrive downloaded on your iPad in order to do this. Once you've scanned the QR code and you have this screen in front of you, you're going to download the video by tapping on the three dots on the right hand side of the screen next to the file. And then choosing the download option. This will download this straight into your Photos app. Go now and open up the photos. You'll see in the bottom right, the last video that I've got is a snowing scene. And if I tap on this, you'll see I have a lovely snowing video. We're going to use this, first of all, in our Keynote app. So open up your Keynote app. Then you're going to choose the plus icon from the top of the screen. Tap on this, choose a theme. Anyone will do, but for this one, I'm just going to choose a basic black theme. I'm going to tap on that. And once it downloads, it will open up to our start point. Okay, you know, I want rid of all these boxes, so I'm just going to tap on each of the boxes and I'll get the little menu, I'll tap delete on all of those. So now I have a nice empty screen to start with. So if I tap on the picture icon at the top of the screen and choose the first option, photo or video. So it'll take me to my photo gallery and I'm going to select my snowing scene. And it comes in full screen for me and that's absolutely fine. I'm then going to tap on the paintbrush icon and first of all, I want to choose movie from the middle and I'm going to tell it to loop because my video is very short and I want this to keep going. Okay, then I'm going to go to arrange and I'm just going to lock the video into place so it doesn't move around while we're doing the rest of this. Okay, now I'm going to go to the shapes and I'm going to select a square and I'm just going to make this full screen. So I'm going to hide the video. So I'm going to drag the corners until I completely cover up my screen. And then I'm going to choose a circle. Now this is going to come in the same color. So before I do anything, I'm going to tap on the paintbrush, go to style on the left hand side, and I'm just going to make it any color. It doesn't matter because it's going to disappear in a minute. So I'm going to drag this. This is my snow globe. So I want to drag this and make this as big a snow globe as I want it to be on my screen. So I'm not going to cover everything, but that's a nice size. Okay, now I want to select both the circle and my white rectangle together. So I'm going to tap on one and then with my other hand, I'm going to tap on the other one. So they're both selected and then tap the paintbrush. I'm going to go to the Arrange option and then scroll down to the bottom. Okay, and I want this one, the third one in, that's got a black square and a white square. And this has now made the red circle disappear so that I can see behind it my little video. The next step is to make this look like a snow globe. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a stand my snow globe to sit on. So I'm going to choose the shapes icon from the top and I'm just going to choose a rounded square there and I'm going to drag this into a kind of 
rectangular shape, an oblong shape, because I'm going to make it into a little stand. Now, before I move it, because it's white, I'm just going to go up to the paintbrush, choose style and fill, and then I'm just going to change the colour. So I'm going to make this a wooden stand, so I'm going to choose a brown here. Okay, and I'm just going to adjust that, and I'm going to pop that just underneath the circle so it's covering a little bit of it so it looks like the snow globe is sitting inside of it. I'm just going to keep using the grab handles until I'm happy with the size. Now what I'm going to do now is tap on that shape and I'm just going to copy it because I'm going to make this a bit bigger so I'm going to tap on the screen and press paste. Move this down now it's exactly the same but I want it to be slightly bigger just so it kind of looks like it's got a few ridges on this. And I'm going to copy it again. You can make yours look whatever way you want it to. You can have a diff, a stand of any type that you want it to be. But I'm just going to quickly move those down and create this nice little wooden stand for my snow globe. And then I'm actually going to tap my fingers on all three of them. So I'm going to use three fingers here, tap one, then keep holding that, tap another one, and then tap the third one. And I'm going to group these together. So now I can move them around and they'll move with me wherever I move it. Don't have to keep moving separate ones. Okay, so now it looks like it's sitting on a stand. So I am going to add some things into my snow globe scene. So I'm going to start with some Christmas trees. So I'm just going to go into the search bar, the little magnifying glass, and I'm going to type in tree. Pick a nice Christmas tree here. You can choose whatever you want. So now is the time to just think of some objects that you can add. Search and see if the pictures are there for you. Choose the colours that you want them to be. So I'm going to go into fill and I'm going to make a gradient colour this because I want them to look kind of a bit more realistic so I'm going to start with a light green and then my end colour I'm going to choose a darker green so it's got a bit of shadow looking in there and bring it to life a little bit give it a bit of depth I'm going to add a bit of shadow and then I am going to choose a border and just keep it black but I Bit thick and it makes it stand out a little bit against the background and I want a couple of these so I'm just going to duplicate so I'm going to press on the shape press copy and then paste and I'm just going to arrange them in here again keep going up to the shapes and you can add anything you want any colors you want and arrange them within your snow globe once you've finished adding everything into your snow globe, you might want to change the background colour from white. So tap on your white rectangle background, tap on the paintbrush and then select fill. And you can choose whatever colour fill you want, except no fill, because then you'll see all of your snow globe. Okay, I'm going to go for just, I think, a nice blue here in the background. Just so it's something a little bit more different. You can add whatever you want. Then you're going to go up to where you've got your presentation name. So mine says presentation 30 up in the top left here. You're going to tap here and you're going to go down to export and we're going to choose movie. Okay, now you have lots of options here and you can choose whatever you want. Um, it automatically comes in at 720p, but you can make it a higher resolution so it's nice and crystal clear if you want, but for saving space, just keep it at its original size or 720. Tap on export. Okay, when the blue button appears, tap share, and you're just going to choose save video. This will take it right into your photos app. So if you press the home button, go back and find your photos app you'll see that you've now got a new video appearing and you've got a lovely snow globe scene